Hello, Facebook family. Facebook Live is the show within a show. There's a radio show. There's this show. I love to give you guys great information. I'm Patty Jackson. These are my friends who literally saved my life. The P.I. Dental Institute. This week is National Prostodontics Week. Did I say it right? Yes, you did. I, I said it right. This is Dr. <laughs> Glenn Wolfinger. This is Stephen Balshi. This is Tony Robinson. And what they do in Fort Washington is really amazing. And ever since I went public with my dental story, people stop me everywhere. And, and I don't mind because if I can help you, bleeding gums, the bad breath, none of this it's just okay. It's not okay to have that. Doc, let's talk about National Prostodontics Awareness Week and how you guys can help give a person whose mouth has fallen apart a beautiful smile. Well, you know, I think everybody just sees the, the beauty of a smile, yeah. but there's also the health of a smile. Yes. And there's a lot of things that can happen to a person systemically with bad teeth. It's bacteria that's going through your whole system. It can affect all the organs of the body. So really having a healthy smile is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Having a beautiful smile is something that can also be done as well. With bleeding gums, things that people should be aware of. Bleeding gums, really, really bad breath. I'm not talking about just from a dry mouth, but just really like, ooh, there's something wrong in there. Yeah. Well, that's bacteria that you okay. smell. And that's okay. infection, bacteria. Mm -hmm. And when something like that is going on, it's, it's something that's going to affect your, your whole medical condition. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to at least go to the dentist a couple of times a year to have your teeth cleaned. If there's more involved things um, with your teeth, um, there may be needs for some extractions, some root canals, things like that. But there's always going to be the need for um, continued dental care. Yeah. You just can't ignore your teeth. No, you can't. Yeah. They see me three times a year. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any questions, like, like, you know, like, let us know. Because dental health is so important. Hi, Crystal. How you doing? Um, what I had with me, it was called teeth in a day. Yes. They not only kind of like ripped out my mouth um, to get rid of the disease, um, but you replaced it. You replaced my smile in a single day. And people yes. still are like, what do you mean it, it, it took place in one day? It was one day. Yeah, it was removing diseased teeth, mm -hmm. cleaning everything up, creating a foundation for the new set of teeth, and putting teeth in there that same exact day so that you can leave the office, you can smile, you can go on with your regular everyday work. Not everybody wants to just lose their teeth and then be in this limbo stage where they yeah. have nothing to function yeah. with. And we understand that. We've been doing that for over 20-some years now. Wow. And it's a very predictable procedure. What I like about the PI Dental Institute, they are advanced in technology. And that's what really got me the most. Is it normal when you're older to lose teeth? Is that a normal thing? Well, I wouldn't say it's normal. I have patients okay. in their 90s that mm -hmm. still have all their teeth. Yeah. It really depends on a lot of different factors. Some of it's genetic. Mm -hmm. Some of it is, is, is how well they've been maintained through the years, if they're not going and having normal dental care. There's a lot of different factors involved in it. But there's no reason why people can't maintain their teeth. But if it gets to that point where the teeth just aren't maintainable anymore, there are solutions for it. Now, let's talk about dentures, because the evident digital dentures, they're the future. Mm -hmm. For people say, well, I can't afford the other thing. Huh? <laughs> the evident digital dentures are here. They don't come out of your mouth. Well, That's the, what I love about them. Well, you know, in every industry today, mm -hmm. digital technology has taken over. And in dentistry, it's the same way. I mean, we can now, we, if a patient comes in today for a crown, we can scan the patient and we can digitally produce a crown for the patient. Wow. We can do the same thing with a full set of teeth, with a complete denture. And the, the amazing thing with this is it's a lot easier for patients and it's a lot more precise and a lot more predictable. Wow. Using computer technology is really the way to go in dentistry. And I tell people, if you reach that point, because a lot of people say, um, well, you know, I don't, I don't want to wear dentures. I don't want to, they, they, you know, they come out. I, I, can't, I can't eat. Mm -hmm. But you can because with these digital dentures, they're implanted dentures. Yes. yes. Um, if, if There's two different ways of doing it. You could either have removable dentures. If mm -hmm. you're struggling with dentures and you just can't afford to do the implant-supported dentures, regular dentures will work well. And with the computer evident technology, they're incredibly fitting dentures, better yeah. than anything they've ever had before. But 
to take it a step le uh, further along, if you could have implants to support those teeth, then you could have teeth that don't come in and out, that don't rub on the gum tissues, and uh, that's really the ideal way to go, as you know. Are more adults getting braces? Um, yeah, I would say absolutely. If, yeah, if the patient, I'm noticing but that. But a lot of it depends on how healthy the teeth are. If okay. the teeth are healthy enough, then we can straighten the teeth up and they can maintain their own natural teeth. And that's something that's uh, pretty popular today with um, adults. It's not just for kids anymore. We're talking dental health. There's this big push. Every commercial you see, Doc, is about whiten teeth, sure. but... Your gums and everything else have to be healthy. Yeah, it's and you know I used to watch those extreme makeover shows and I used to cringe because people would walk in with these uh, horribly looking teeth, and in one day all of a sudden they have a beautiful looking set of teeth, but underlying that is disease. There's crowding. There's yeah. a lot of different issues there. We like to look at things a little more comprehensively. If there's diseased teeth, we need to treat the disease, and then we start working on making everything look beautiful. But there's more than just making it, yeah. putting up the facade. You <laughs> the have facade, to also create, yes. the, create the health as well. <laughs> and, if, and if you have dental issues, you should not be afraid to open up and talk about it. Kathy said, I got my braces when I turned 40. Um, do they take most insurances, especially FOP? Insurance. That's the police. <laughs> yeah. well, we're, we're a fee-for-service practice, and it's really yeah. hard to do what we're doing in dentistry by working with insurance companies. And um, But if somebody has insurance, then our staff will um, help them fill out the forms and see what kind of reimbursement they have. We can even get it predetermined to figure yeah. that out ahead of time. Stephen Balshi does all the digital stuff. You know, tell us the importance of that because people, when when you see, you guys are really forward with your technology. Yeah, it's really really important. As Dr. Wolfinger was saying before, the the whole industry, uh, the whole dental industry is moving in that direction. And for us, the biggest thing is maintenance over a period of time. Mm -hmm. So, Patty, when you when you came to us and we got <laughs> you into this state. You still are maintaining your mouth. You're yes. still seeing us yes. on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And that's true for whether we have a, an ex, uh, a makeover like yourself or for someone who has a denture or a single crown. With the digital technology, now we have a digital record. So in the computer, it's the, that, that crown or that denture is stored. Mm -hmm. And should anything ever happen to the denture or the crown, we have a digital file that we can just make another one. Wow. So it's such a real powerful technology where in the past, Tony would have to make a, <laughs> a whole denture from scratch uh, and it's, it's time consuming. And mm -hmm. so if someone lost their denture, let's say they were, uh, I don't know, out of, out of a party or something and the denture flew out of their mouth <laughs> and they got lost or got broken or whatever it would happen. In the traditional format, it would take a, a number of days to get, remake a new one. Now it's, uh, you just push a button on the computer and it goes into a big milling machine and it mills out of the exact same denture that you had before. So it's really, really cool stuff. Victor, they are the bomb, I'm telling you. <laughs> I, I told them they, they literally changed my life. The sister back here, this Tony Robinson. She be making, she does that work. Yes. How is that for you when you, when you know that you're giving someone wow. a smile? You know, it's truly a blessing to be able to do that for people because having going without teeth is devastating. Most people really can't even imagine what that feeling is, like you lose a lot of self-confidence. So being able to give that back to people is like an honor for me. And I've been doing it for over 30 years, wow. and I really enjoy it, just about as long as you've been in the radio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we want to give you this information. Hi, Dawn. She said, implants, the best investment I ever made. It, it, it really is. And they saved my life, and it was such a turning point in my life. Bleeding gums. Really, really, really bad breath is not good. When they start falling out, I was like Beetlejuice. Remember that movie mm. with Michael Keaton? Yeah, yeah. Everything was falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not normal. Stephen, give us a website. Uh, it's www.pidentalcenter.com. Pidentalcenter.com. It's amazing on the forefront of technology. And you want to be able to look good. Don't get to a certain age and say, 
I'm too old. You know, I don't like hair on my smile. I've had people tell me, oh, I don't need no teeth in the back. Yes, because it could spread to the front. Yes. And you don't want to walk around. I did. I had to tell a girl. She was 60. She was missing a tooth in the front. I said, go and get that fixed. Yeah. There's, uh, no, there's no there's age no, limit there's, to it. There's healthy, no age. Smile. There there's isn't. No. You can't reach a certain age and want to give up. So what? You're 60. You should still look good. Don't walk around toothless. Yes, Tim? Question. So does medication affect your dental health? Yeah. And what if you're going through something mm-hmm. like cancer and you're taking yeah. a lot yes. of medicine? What about that? That's a great question. I I think most medications that are out there today have a side effect of dry mouth. And that's probably the worst thing that we see because Mm. there's patients out there that have multiple medications that Mm. uh, give them dry mouth. Now, dry mouth will lead to um, more cavities, Mm -hmm. more breakdown of the teeth, and that seems to be probably one of the biggest things we see in breakdown of natural teeth. Mm -hmm. What about diabetes? Mm-hmm. Diabetes is, is a um, thing that we have to be concerned about with natural teeth and mm-hmm. implants because yeah. diabetics are going to be slower healers. And um, any kind of procedure we do, healing is going to take um, a longer time. But if they have periodontal disease and diabetes, the breakdown is going to be even more rapid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Dental health, it's so important. We wanted to share uh, this information with you. It's not normal for bleeding gums, losing your teeth, excessive bad breath, and don't think that there's an age limit. Um, even with our children, teaching them good dental practices, how important it is to really brush your teeth twice a day. Sure, absolutely. And that's where it all starts because yeah. if kids understand that early on, the importance of teeth, then they maintain it throughout their whole life. And then the idea that the um, Baby teeth aren't important. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's ridiculous because if you lose your baby tooth teeth too early, then the whole eruption pattern is thrown off. Now they need orthodontics, and yeah. So mm-hmm. there's a lot of there's a lot of reasons why to start early with kids. This is National Prostodontics Awareness Week, and this is the crew from the PI Dental Institute in Fort Washington. Dr. Glenn Wolfinger, Stephen Balshi, Tony Robinson. The website again, Stephen www.pidentalcenter.com pidentalcenter.com thank you guys thank you Perry. thank you for thank saving you. my life getting this information the um, the address in Fort Washington it's 467 Pennsylvania Avenue in Fort Washington, PA. And it's real easy to get to if I can get to it. Yes. Right off the turnpike. Right, right off the turnpike. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, but share the video. It, it, it is just so important. I do think things happen for a reason. And I share my story to help others because I talk to so many people and it's not it's not anything to play with. It's not just the looking good. And it's like, wow, I look great. No, you want to be healthy and look yes. great. Yeah. You want to be healthy and look great. Thank you guys for Thank coming you. by. Thanks, Thanks Dental for health, us. so important. This is National Prostodontics Week, and this is the PI Dental Institute.